AI has taken over the world. And while many researchers are busy figuring out how to make AI usage safer, an equally important problem must not be neglected. Are we making AI more energy efficient and are we reducing its carbon footprint? Now, the good thing is we can actually leverage AI to optimize its own energy efficiency. You see, there's this awesome project called Cold Carbon. It's a Python library designed to track and estimate the carbon emissions associated with running computational workloads, particularly in machine learning and data science. And the cool thing is, with a GitHub Copilot prompt, you can actually integrate Code Carbon into any code base and start identifying which parts of your code or infrastructure have the highest emissions. Let me show you. Let's assume we have this script that has been created by a colleague of ours. All we know about it is that this is a fine tuning exercise for the GPT-2 model based on some corporate data we have. And we know that this is a computationally intensive operation. We want to use Code Carbon to really understand the carbon footprint of this fine tuning. Let's start by closing the file main.py because we don't want it to pollute our context. Then we're going to click on view chat. And then once this view pops up, we're going to make sure that we select the appropriate model that we want to use. And in this case, we're going to use Claude 3.7 Sonnet. And then we're also going to select the edit mode as opposed to ask. And then here we're going to say, can you help me install code carbon as a Python package? The model is going to do some thinking and then it's going to spit out the instructions. From there, we're going to come in here and select insert into terminal and then press enter. This is going to install code carbon for us along with all of the necessary dependencies. And now we're ready to use code carbon in our project. Then we're going to jump back to the chat. And at the same time, we're going to go to our editor and we're going to open our main dot py file. Why? Because we would like to add this file to our context so that the agent knows where to make the edits. And now let's ask it, let's prompt it again and say, using code carbon, generate a report of the carbon footprint of the code in main dot, or let's reference the file like this. And as you can see, Copilot agent has already come up with a plan of all of the necessary edits and changes that it needs to make. And if we actually look at the code, you will see here that it has already defined an output directory for the report and it has pulled in the code carbon library and it has actually started the tracking in the appropriate place before the fine tuning actually starts which is the most expensive operation that we want to measure and then finally uh, once the emission report is finalized we're going to get a message about that so all of these changes look great i'm going to click on the keep button over here and now i'm going to run my script again with the code carbon uh, changes embedded in it it's going to be python3 main.py and it's going to take a while because it's going to run all of the training one more time. It's going to prompt me for a password because it probably needs to access some uh, resources on my device related to the uh, CPU usage, RAM, and all of the other device information. And as the training is running, you already can see Code Carbon is already calculating the amount of energy consumed and the power that is currently being utilized for the training process. Now that the training has been concluded, you can already see a small summary of the energy consumed for the RAM, energy consumed for all the CPUs, energy for the CP GPUs, and the total kilowatt hour since the beginning of this calculation. And you can already see here the total value of the emissions for this whole exercise in kilograms of CO2. Now, if we go here to our explorer and close our terminal, we can already see we have a file called emissions.csv, which contains all of the data that we collected right now by Code Carbon, as well as all of the power metrics. And now that we have the data in place, we can actually take this exercise one step further by generating an interesting visual report from the data that we have with very little effort. So one more time, we click on view, chat, and let's make sure the emissions.csv file is in the context. And let's say the following, using the data in and then let's reference the file, generate a visual report of the data using only HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and any charting library needed. Make sure the report is contained in one file and that the visuals accurately represent the data in the CSV file.
We can already see the emissions report.html file created for us. Let's do a quick visual inspection. Let's keep it. And then we can right click on this one, reveal in Finder, and then open this file in our browser. And as you can see here, we have a nice visual report showcasing all of the data, the power consumption, energy distribution, and system information from our analysis.